welcome back to Redbeard RPG and Dragon Quest XI. And we're going to in a well. Last episode we got to Dendrasil. And this well apparently will get us to the castle. Which is our goal right now. And, uh, there we are. Reset the old timer. Should have done that uh, in between episodes rather than during it. But, uh, you, I mean, you all know me. I keep things professional. I got a rope there. No treasure at all. No very, no uh, diverging paths. Nothing. A little disappointing, but is what it is. Alrighty. A quick look around. Yep, down there is just rubble, so we got to head up. Please tell me there's a statue somewhere around here. Ah, there's Rab. Will you heal everybody, Rab? <laughs> so you made it at last. We did. Is it just you? Where's your friend, the girl? Hmm. She has duties to attend to. She'll be glad you came, though, as am I. It's not like we had much choice. Now, where's the rainbow? We need it. Oh, you do, do you? I'm just going to be a jerk now. I suppose that's because your pal here's the luminary. Oh, great. You figured it out. How <gasps> can we have it? Wait. How could you... I thought you died years back, laddie. When I saw that mark in your hand at the tournament, my heart skipped more than a few beats, let me tell you. Now, come along. There's something I want to show you, if you'll indulge an old man for a wee while. I guess so. Hold on just one second. Close this door. All right. Probably should edit that out, but that's a that's a lot of effort for just a few seconds worth of wasted time. Let's go. All right. Did Rab heal everybody? I I, I kind of doubt it. That's not what I wanted. Actually. Quit. Do what I want. Oh, everybody is alive all of a sudden. Excellent, excellent. Um, I got plenty of MP. I'll heal everybody up. Serena can save hers. I still don't fully understand how that works. Is, are they just like dead for a temporary period of time? Or was it because I triggered a cutscene? Yeah, I, I hear you say this way, but you're, you're moving awfully slow, my guy. Okay. I'll just run out ahead and it'll trigger the cutscene. Aye, this place brings back some memories, sure enough. Look, are you going to tell us who you are or what? I'd already given up most of my duties by then. I spent most of my days in the city enjoying my retirement. Oh, we had us some fun. <laughs> and then the monsters came, and I lost everything. When I was your age, laddie, this was one of the finest cities you could ever hope to see. And look at it now. One night. That's all it took them to tear it all apart. Ugh. Just listen to me blethering on. I, I was going to show you something, wasn't I? Come on.
Huh? What's Is this? Is this somebody's grave? Well, yeah, it looks like it. Aye. This is where the king and queen of Dundrasil are buried. <gasps> you mean... Mm. I do. This is your parents' grave, laddie. The grave of my daughter and son-in-law. Oh. Wait. But that would mean you're his grandfather. Yes, it does. These two fine young souls died, and I survived. I came to believe there must have been a reason for that, that someone had a purpose in mind for me. It's a distinct possibility. So I set out to learn why Dundrasil was destroyed. I've been on the road ever since. I've uncovered some of the truth on my travels. It was King Carnelian, you see. He changed. Yep. He once believed in the power of the Luminary more than any of us. But he became convinced that you were evil. That you were the Darkspawn. Ah. Oh, he's not a man I knew any longer. Foxy blames you for everything, even the death of his daughter. How could you, old friend? There's something behind it all. The fall of Dundrasil, the change in my old comrade. I promise you, I will find out the truth. Eleanor, my girl. Erwin, I found him. I found your boy. He wasn't lost to us after all. <laughs> You're alive, laddie. Against all the odds and... And now you're home. You've no idea I... how many times I've dreamed of this day. I never thought it would actually come. Now, will you humour an old man a while longer? I guess, Rab. There's an old royal ritual, you see. It's to send the souls of the departed to a better place. I'd like you to help me perform it. Yeah, we've done that one before. That's, that's, I guess we'll do it again. Grandpa. There's an altar up in the hill behind the castle. I'll be waiting for you there. Alrighty. We're definitely going to do a quick look around for treasure first, because aha, uh -huh, right away. Dose of strong medicine. It's under here. More treasure, perhaps? A recipe book entitled Dress Like a Dresselian. Look inside. Looks at Dresselian helms and Dresselian armor. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, it looks like we got some exploring to do. That's, that's where he went. Let's go the other way then. Seems to be treasure about. <laughs> Can't seem to go up there. Okay. Break that pot real quick. Get a little Brazilian money. Alright, this is the path we walked up. We've already been here. Okay. Off to our ritual. 
But first, we got a pot to break. A devil's tail. Delicious. And this way we got a barrel. With more Drusillian money. Oh boy. Oh yeah, we can't wait for that guy to walk. Anything of interest up here? It's not seem so. Little bunny rabbits. Up the mountain path we go. Keep it up, old man. It does not seem so. This is a pretty beautiful game. I saw that little little hole right there. I thought there might be something hiding. This so far, it's very reminiscent of the first challenge we did in this game. Climbing the mountain for a rite of passage. Everything's ready. Thank you, Princess. It looks just perfect. Wait, you don't mean... If the rest of you wouldn't mind standing back here with me, only members of the Drusillian royal family may perform the ritual. Oh. How come he called you Princess? Are you? Quiet now. The ritual is about to begin. So she's supposed to be my sister? Or cousin, maybe? You just follow my lead. All right, laddie. Yeah, it can't be sister, because then she'd be part of the Dendrosillian royal family. The souls of those who depart this life must all return to Yggdrasil. One life for each leaf of the great world tree. But those taken by monsters cannot return of their own accord. So our ancestors devised a ritual to send them on their way. Where did those guys come from? The smoke guides them back to where they belong. To Yggdrasil's bosom. Bosom. Each butterfly is a lost soul, and now they can all be at peace. Isn't Rabs a member of the royal family? He could have done this a while ago. Right? Just been holding the souls hostage on the off chance he found me? You didn't die in vain, Eleanor. You saved your boy. And the princess. It was a noble sacrifice you made. Thank you, my beautiful girl. And goodbye. I hope you don't mind me asking, but your mother didn't leave you anything, did she? Queen's final letter. <gasps> oh, no. She didn't, did she? Apparently she did. So this letter's why you went to see King Carnelian, eh? Yep. <gasps> if only she'd known. 
I'm sorry, laddie, you've been through so much. But I suppose if you'd not set out for Heliodor, the journey would never have led you to me, eh? Oh, Eleanor. Sorry, Laria. I'm gonna need to be alone for a wee while. Okay. So, he wants to be alone for a while. Um, what do we do until then? <coughs> you still won't give us the uh, branch of Idrisil we need. We want the rainbow. I guess we'll just, yeah, just go back down. Wasn't the Queen brave rescuing you the way she did? Veronica and I must learn from her example. After all, it's our job to protect you now. Everybody's standing about. Ah, here we are. Maybe we learn more about Jade here. Lady Elena. <gasps> Who's there? You weren't supposed to see that. Well, I did. I was just thinking about Lady Eleanor. I... I mean, your mother. Do you know her? Why don't we take a little walk? All right. My mother was a rather sickly soul by all accounts. She died not long after I was born. That's unfortunate. So in a sense, Lady Eleanor was the only real mother I ever knew. She used to read me stories, take me flower picking. I loved her so much. You can imagine how happy I was when I heard she was having a baby. I couldn't wait to meet my little brother. You know, it was raining like this the last time I ever saw her. I can't believe how much time has passed since then. Hmm? Yeah, almost my entire lifetime. Rut row. Up there. <sighs> they don't look friendly. Something tells me they're looking for you and your friends. Oh, I bet. And there's only one kingdom that can send that many soldiers out on a manhunt. Heliodor. Heliodor. You got Come it. on. We need to get back to the others. Hmm. Up the mountain path we go. I don't see anybody. Strange thing is we're kind of sprinting into a dead end, yeah. Where are the ones from the altar? No sign of them. What about the Darkspawn? No sign of him either. Blast! They must have got away. Yep, we're completely it, gone. It's him! <gasps> He's over here! The dark spawn is over here! Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> what shall we do with the girl? Sir Hendrik's orders were to bring the dark spawn back alive. He never said anything about anyone foolish enough to side with him. Oh, yeah, we're, we're the fools. 
Just you try it. Well, well, well. I, I can't be expected to take her on alone. Sir Hendrick! Sir Hendrick! Oh. Come on. We'll head around the mountain and meet up with the others before he gets back. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> Sir Hendrick is the uh, brute force guy, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Oh, and there he is. I have you at last, Darkspawn. There is nowhere left to run. <sighs> you are a slippery one, I will give you that. I had not thought you would make it this far after I picked up your scent in Octagonia. Picked up my scent? I won a large, popular tournament. Wasn't really hiding it. Men, the Darkspawn is mine. Deal with the girl. Forward! Back. Uh. Ha. This is all the dreaded child of darkness can muster. Pathetic. You haven't landed a hit on me. What are you talking about? You will evade me no longer, Darkspawn. The chase ends here. I guess I'm dead. Hendrick! Don't you dare! Huh? Ruh -ruh. Princess Jade? Surely not. Is she gonna flip Sir Hendrick? No! Hold on! There's nothing for me to hold on to. Princess! That is not how falling works. I won't let you go again. Yet again, I've fallen off a cliff, cliff and woken up in a strange bed. Dundrasil region cabin. Anything of interest in here? Does not seem so. I changed my clothes. That's not fun. Hello. Oh good. You're awake. I am. I'm soaked through. Let's get warmed up, shall we? Oh, we shall. Yes, please. I... I'm glad I caught you. I couldn't have forgiven myself if... if it happened again. I suppose Rab must have told you about your mother. That she sacrificed herself to save you and the Princess of Heliodor. Well, you've probably worked it out for yourself already, but... I was that princess. Your mother saved my life. 
that night, the night Dundrasil fell, we ran from the castle, but the monsters were too fast. She handed you to me and distracted them for long enough for us to get away. She died to save us. But even though she trusted me with you, I... I was too weak and stupid to... I fell in the river and... I let you go. I can't tell you how many times I've wished that it was you rabfished out of there and not me. After he found me, we headed back to Heliodor. We thought my father might help us to find you. But when we got there, we found out he was telling people I'd been killed by the Luminary. He was trying to make people believe awful things about you. It sounds like his mind got corrupted. Rab was convinced that he wasn't in his right mind. That someone must be... controlling him. So ah. we set out together to find out who and why. I never expected to see Hendrik again, let alone on the battlefield. We were lucky to get out of there alive. Ah, I could have taken him. A couple thunderbolts. He'd be toast. It's wearing metal. Looks like the rain's dying down. We should head back to Dundrasil. Yeah, where all the people we were running away from were? Just to head on right back, huh? That seems ill-advised, but I don't have anything better to do, so... Let's go stir the pot. Can we pet the deer? Clicked on him and his head came up. That seemed to be about it. Can't sneak in the crawl space of the house. I was hoping for that. That'd be a good place to hide treasure. Aha! I have had a feeling there'd be some some around. And there's a mini metal. Excellent, excellent. Always look for treasure. Always, always. Where are we at on the map, by the way? Okay. So we need to loop all the way back around, and we'll go through that uh, that section I was talking about. I was like, ah, oh, the game will probably take us through there anyways. We'll get there soon enough. But unfortunately, that will have to wait for the next episode. So thank you guys so very much for watching, and have a good one.